Hey guys, this is Lucas from Luke's Bricks. Today I'm bringing you my very first episode of my medieval building series. Um, I've been working on this for the last couple of months on and off, uh, mostly accumulating pieces, figuring out an idea and everything. Um, so today I thought I was ready to bring you the first episode. I'm going to be going over my layout, my layout plans, my building plans, uh, the minifigures I'm going to be using, um, just kind of all the starting stuff like that, kind of explaining everything. Um, so to start out with the layout, I have this shelf in my closet, another one on this side that's full of boxes, um, that's going to be my area. So it's going to be green base plates going all the way to the end, and then you have this castle wall in the back, which is about six bricks wide um, to fill in the remaining gap. Um, I'm going to be doing that, and then you do already have this mountain. I'm going to be having the grass going all the way to the end, but in the middle, kind of near these trees, I'm going to be doing a joust area. King, queen, lords, and everything watching, uh, a couple different houses. And then I also plan on having a training area, um, maybe a couple small tents in the back with barracks. I'm not too sure yet. Again, limited to space. This is going to be a permanent thing that's going to be on display, but when I have more space in the future, I'm really hoping to expand it. Um, so let's get into kind of my building plans. So basically for the building plans, I already have the mountain, which you can see. Um, it's flat on the back and everything, but I have this cave built in. There's some black bricks in the back, so it looks like it keeps on going. Um, with the cave there, original plan was to have it a little bit wider for a wagon to fit. Kind of didn't work out that way. Uh, but I really like the shape of it, so I'm okay with that. However, the uh, minifigure and the horse can fit through, which is awesome. Um, and then as for the grass that's around it, it is going to be pretty heavy on the grass. Um, going to differentiate in like different areas and everything. Like places with the dark green and the brown, kind of going to be a little bit more dead or swampy. Um, I haven't done the grass on this base plate yet. Just around the uh, tower at the bottom there. Uh, but with the cave there built up like that and then you just have regular slopes and different techniques going to the top there some vines on the side and then the path can continue down like i was saying the joust and everything the barracks um i have this tower already i'm planning to build definitely one more for somewhere down there uh not sure i might put a third in the middle just kind of worried about how the joust is going to fit with space and everything um, and then with this wool, you can definitely put minifigures on there, consistent all the way down. The uh, right side is two plates shorter than the left side there because I did have to raise this, those boot plates at the bottom, just so they'd line up with the grass. I've also started to build a few market stalls. Uh, I'm not really sure on the color scheme I want to go with yet. I like both quite a lot. Um, not so much this light blue one, but the other three I like. Uh, but as for the styles, they're all going to stay. You have this one that has a few baskets in front of them. Uh, and then a couple just regular ones. Tried to make them all a little bit different for some variety. Um, really heavily inspired by Skyrim. So I looked at a lot of uh, market stalls and some other stuff just to get some ideas. Um, Skyrim I love. Really awesome themes, fantasy themes. So I'm going to be getting a lot of inspiration from there, of course. Um, the training area, I definitely have like solitude in mind. But it's very small there. Um, so just kind of take some rough ideas, basically. I think we'll probably just move on to the mini figures I'm going to be using. Um, so I have my black falcons. They're going to be the main force, kind of whose castle this is. Um, I've accumulated quite a lot of them. I might get maximum like 15, 20 more. I think this might be good. We'll see. Um, I do have my archers here. They have custom brick warriors helmets on, but the rest is Lego. Um, as well for all these guys, they're all genuine Lego except for the front three guys here. Um, they just have extra armor on. I uh, got a couple archers in the tower already. And then you have, my, uh, I guess, my medieval sig fig. Just kind of there. And then I might fit these Lord of the Rings guys in. Uh, same with like Frodo and all of them. I'm using flesh, so they should work. Uh, not rolling with uh, yellow there. And then moving down here in my minifigure case, I should have, sorry, maybe I should have cleaned this a little bit. Uh, yeah, so just kind of a bunch of extra torsos and legs I'm going to be using. Uh, just all medieval castle themed. You have either built or almost built minifigures in there. Uh, you have your orcs and goblins. I'm also around the mountain there. Collected quite a bit of goblins that I'm also going to plan on using. Those should work out pretty good. 
Uh, it's just extra stuff. Yeah, so we have all those extra medieval minifigures. I also have quite a bit of weapons saved up. Uh, more importantly, though, here, let me find them. Yeah, like I was saying, more importantly, we do have these Brick Warriors items that I'm going to be using a lot. These especially for the training area. I'm actually really excited to use these. I think they're going to look really awesome. But that just about wraps up everything there. Um, one thing I will get your guys' feedback on is if you think this mountain here should go right to my wall here. Or if I should keep the wall in the back. Um, it does look a little bit janky if you look at it from this way. Like this, it looks good. And it does kind of make sense that the mountain would end at the wall. And that's why they built the wall there. Um, so give me your opinion, which one you would prefer. But uh, other than that, this is the first episode. Will be more episodes coming in the future. Again, not going to be a weekly thing. Uh, just when I do have something to show. Hopefully in the next one, I will have all the base plates laid out. It's unlikely they're going to be tiled and play takes just because that does take a lot of time and pieces I don't have at the moment. Um, but it is on the way. Episode 2, big plans to come. There's going to be other factions. There's going to be small fights going on. Maybe a big fight somewhere. Uh, you're going to have the duel, the joust, stuff like that. Uh, so a little bit of action in this one, which will be nice, will be fun to work on. Uh, fun to see in the future too. But if you like the video, please feel free to leave a like, uh, comment on that mountain, the wall. And uh, if you enjoyed everything, please feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, thank you for watching. This has been episode one of my Medieval Building series. See you all next time.